A new Wordle puzzle is online. Click on the link to play. Listening to the following video may give you clues. Please like and share the videos. Valtteri Bottas changes F1 chassis after qualifying. Mercedes have decided to fit a spare engine to Valtteri Bottas' car after the Finn suffered an exhaust damage penalty in qualifying. In this article, we will examine the reasons behind Mercedes' decision and the consequences of Bottas' Greek penalty. Also, we will consider whether the decision to fit a spare engine to the Sao Paulo Grand Prix was right for Bottas. Mercedes' decision to fit Valtteri Bottas' car with a fourth internal combustion engine. Mercedes have revealed that they have fitted the Finnish driver with a new power unit for the Italian Grand Prix, having previously replaced Hamilton's power unit with a turbocharger. The change was a strategic one, according to a Mercedes spokesperson. Bottas will start from the back of the grid, but will retain his position in the sprint qualifying. Earlier this year, Mercedes had indicated that Bottas would start the race from the back of the grid, but that isn't the case. The change came as a surprise to many. Mercedes have been using four ices and five turbos this season, which is unprecedented. In the first race, Bottas has that advantage, but Vettel is on the back foot again. Mercedes have been forced to fit a fourth ice in Valtteri Bottas' car, but it will be difficult to compete with Ferrari's four-cylinder engine. The new engine is expected to benefit the German and Brazilian drivers, but Lewis Hamilton has not yet opted to use it. A new engine will cost him five grid positions, a significant penalty in his title race with Verstappen. He has a solid record of qualifying from the back, but the new engine might not suit him. After all, it is difficult to see how Bottas will fare with a new engine, but he will be able to win the Italian Grand Prix with it. As the Mercedes team prepares for Sochi, it is expected to have some problems with their power unit, but it is unlikely that the team will win this time if he continues to struggle. This was due to a batch problem with one of the engines. While the car may have been a problem the year before, Bottas opted to take the new power unit anyway, citing the benefits of staying one place ahead of Verstappen and Hamilton. In 2008, Mercedes' Diva struggled to perform in power circuits and failed to win a single race. The team tried to do everything right and make the entire package work, but it failed in doing so. Bottas' car, the Rub 19, failed to make the podium in Singapore, and Hamilton was forced to settle for second place in Hungary. Mercedes' decision to equip Bottas' car with a sixth power unit. The decision to fit a sixth power unit to Bottas' car came after the German driver's poor qualifying result in Austria. The decision to change the power unit reflected concerns about Bottas' season. The decision by Mercedes to give Bottas a fresh power unit has eased those concerns. The team confirmed that it had made the decision after learning of Bottas' per qualifying performance. Nevertheless, Mercedes did not rule out Lewis Hamilton taking another engine penalty later in the season. The decision to give Bottas a sixth power unit also reflects the fact that the team did not want to risk losing the lead in the Constructors' and Drivers' Championships. The team's spokesman said that the decision was made to ensure the best balance of performance and reliability for the remaining six race surf company, has not yet been able to determine the exact cause of the vibrations, but it has said that the issue is not a mileage-related issue. In the past, it has also had failures of full race sim engines on chassis dynos. As a result, the team has to be very cautious and not tackle the issue until the end of the season. In spite of the controversy, the decision to equip Bottas car will help the team to avoid penalties during the remaining races. This decision also helps Mercedes to contain its main rivals, as the third-place driver Max Verstappen will start from the back of the grid due to the power unit change. This is a huge boost for Mercedes as it gives Bottas the opportunity to fight against his biggest rival, Lewis Hamilton. Bottas' grid penalty. Valtteri Bottas will serve a five-place grid penalty in the United States Grand Prix following a collision in qualifying. The Finn is one of two drivers to have his engine replaced this season. The other driver is George Russell, who is seeking a brand new power unit. Bottas is sticking with his new ice, but that does not mean he will get an extra grid penalty. The team is now acquiring a fifth new power unit for the season, and is still keen to purchase more for later in the season. 
Bottas is only 18 points behind rivals Red Bull in the Constructors' Championship, which is why the Greek penalty is so significant. Bottas is now ahead of Charles Leclerc and Nicolas Latifi after the accident. However, he will now start the race from the back of the grid. Although he will start from 11th place, Hamilton's fastest time from Saturday means he will start from the fifth row. Despite this, the Mercedes superstar is refusing to write off his chances of winning the Turkish Grand Prix despite a penalty for engine change. Verstappen, on the other hand, will start in second place and is only two points behind Hamilton after 15 races. This is the first time Hamilton has had to start from the back row, but that is no reason to throw in the towel. The power unit problem has become a huge issue for the teams and drivers of Formula One. Currently, nine drivers have fourth engines, while 11 are running on third. It has already had a massive impact on the title race, not to mention other teams. With all this going on, drivers are trying to find a way to avoid the grid penalty. This may cost them valuable points and lead to a more competitive season despite missing the FTO session on Saturday. The Alfa Romeo team have rushed to put together a spare chassis for Batas. After the team realized that their car had broken exhaust piping during Friday's qualifying session, they decided it was easier to replace the entire chassis instead of the exhaust wiring. They have also ordered a new gearbox for the Alfa Romeo driver. The team hopes to be done in time to start on Saturday's grid. Mercedes' decision to fit spare engine to Bottas' car at Sao Paulo Grand Prix. Mercedes' decision to fit a spare engine to Bottas' car on the Sao Paulo Grand Prix has come under scrutiny after the team admitted to taking a penalty at Monza. However, the team have said that they had considered the decision after testing revealed that the German had a pneumatic leak. This has led to concerns about Bottas' season, but the new power unit has alleviated some of these worries. However, Mercedes' decision to fit a spare engine to Bottas' car in Sao Paulo may prove costly. Not only is it uneconomical, but it also places the Dutchman in the middle of the midfield carbon fiber zone, where anything can happen. While it may not be an ideal situation for Mercedes, the decision may have been the best option. As a result of this decision, the Mercedes team will boost their power unit pool to include a spare engine for Bottas, which could result in a grid drop for Lewis Hamilton. It's worth noting that Toto Wolff has also expressed concern over the implications of a DNF. He said that one DNF will cost them four races to catch up. The FIA rules allow each driver to take up to six new engines. The decision to fit a spare engine to Bottas' car at the Sao Paulo Grand Prix was a precaution to avoid a race penalty. Although it is unlikely to affect Hamilton's qualifying position, it is a reminder that the team is confident enough in its car.